Hi, I'm Mike with Aimco Manufacturing. Here we have a lift assist that's designed to safely and easily pick and place the tailgates you see here. The operator will align the tool with the part with the Delrin block you see here. That's going to align with a square pocket in the part. Use the on button to turn the vacuum on. Once the vacuum cups seal on their locating surface, you'll get an indicator light, the clamps will come in and clamp the part. Raise the part up with the up-down pendant. The off button is disabled unless you pull the common button and the off button at the same time to release it. So the common and off button will release the secondary clamps first, the primary clamps second, as well as blow off on the vacuum cups to help disengage the tool from the part. Okay, here we have a two cup vacuum tool that will be used to pick the parts out of the leak test and place them into the rack as you see here. We've got our locators here to locate in the leak test. It also locates in the rack on this feature that you see over here. Vacuum on. Once the cups are in position and safe to lift, the vacuum indicator will come on. If we don't have more than 18 inches of mercury, the up button is disabled and will not work. The vacuum off will also not work unless the common trigger is pulled at the same time for a two-hand safety release. We do have a vertical slide handle here which helps keep the operator in a good ergonomic position. The vertical slide handle is equipped with a rod lock brake. Without the brake engaged, the vertical slide handle will go up and down as it's supposed to. If you engage the brake, it will lock into place and what this will do is it will allow the operator to move the tool up and down without the vertical slide handle section sliding up and down. This can help the operator locate it into the leak test fixture and into the rack fixture. There is a rotary actuator here that will provide a slight tilt if needed in between the two positions between the leak test and the rack. To set the part in place in the rack, the pin will need to be guided into the feature on the rack. With the part weight you'll notice on this pressure gauge here we're above 40 psi. When you set the part into the rack, you want to be right around 30 to 31 PSI so that the tool will be floating in that position. So set the part down, pay attention to the gauge, get enough pressure off of it to where we're at 31 PSI. Now the common trigger and vacuum off will release the part. That way the tool stays nice and level. Well, thanks for watching. Please visit Amco Manufacturing for more product videos. There you go.